You're back. It looks like everyone RSVP'd. Joe, what's wrong? I got the financial aid package. And how much is a full ride? I don't know. According to this, uh, Worthington is happy to have me as long as my parents kick in $15,000. $15,000? That can't be right. We don't have that kind of money. I know that. <laughs> I mean, this was too good to be true. This universe's way of saying, Joey Potter, not so fast. I'm not going anywhere. So what you're saying is that we're being penalized because our family business is actually making money. If it weren't, then we would qualify for more aid. Unfortunately, yes. We turned a profit for the first time, but it wasn't like we won the lottery. But you made substantially more than your 1999 return. Yeah, but we have more debt than we did in 1999. I mean, it costs a lot of money to open a B&B. &B. How can they think that we can afford $15,000 based on one year's income? I didn't say that the system was fair, Joey. This is unbelievable. I should have applied for more scholarships, but it's too late now. Look, I know that we've talked about this before, Joey, but there are student loans. Nearly everyone these days borrows some money to pay for college. No, I don't want to graduate and be over $60,000 in debt. I can't start off my life that way. I won't. It doesn't make sense. There are plenty of other places I'm waiting to hear from. But this is your dream, Joey. Bessie, sometimes dreams don't always come true. Thank you for your time. The barbecue, that's the last thing you need. I'll send everyone home. No. Look, you're not sending them anywhere. Jay. And you're not telling them anything, Bessie. I'm serious. Not a word. Hey there, stranger. I'm starting to think you might miss your own party. No such luck. Yeah. Hey, Dawson. Hey, Bessie. Why don't I take that from you? Um, I'm going in anyway. Oh, thanks. So where is everybody? They're all back. Gretchen got dragged into the whole New York debate. I would have jumped in, but, you know, since New York didn't want everything to do with me. Joey, that was a self-deprecating aside. You're still doing it. Doing what? Acting weird around me. You have no reason to not be happy right now. I know. How'd it go with Miss Watson? Pacey said something about a mix-up. Oh, it was nothing. It was, it was great. You know, I'm gonna go inside and see if they need any help, and I'll meet you guys out back. Sure thing. Hey. How'd it go? Oh, it was that good, huh? Bessie didn't tell you the cruel irony? place is making too much money, so I'm screwed. Well, that's ridiculous. There's got to be something you can do about that. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to be done. Except go out there and celebrate this amazing accomplishment that I worked so hard for. Hey, hold on a second, Joe. Why? Hey, see, there's nothing that you can say or do that can change what happened. It is what it is. No one can change that. So what are you going to tell all of them? Nothing. Look, I don't want anyone to feel sorry for me, okay? Public transportation? Come on, admit, that's a huge plus. Yeah, it's spoken like somebody who's never been grubbed on the subway before. I hate New York. Yeah, uh, spoken like a very loyal girlfriend. Oh, this is unbelievable. Hey! Hey! hey. hey. Guest of honor. Yeah, get a drink. Uh, uh... All right, I'd like to propose a toast to Joey Potter. May Worthington... Be worthy of her. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>